What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build. And even though it seemed like it's pretty much been the zombie apocalypse all year round, it is finally spooky season. And yes, I've already done one Halloween carve this year. You can check it out right here. But who says we can't do two? With all the spice lattes out there and whatnot, something tells me it's pumpkin time. All right, guys, that's right. This week we're going to be carving a pumpkin out of Z wood. And what I kind of wanted to do is just like a kind of a creepy, rotten, evil pumpkin situation. So I figure what I'm going to do is take a bunch of two by four scraps, kind of slap them together. I figure I'll use these gaps that are already in the two by's as kind of those you know, the texture of the pumpkin. I'll probably take them off, put them on the belt sander and make them a little bit more severe. But I think what I'll do is I'll carve the face first uh, and then kind of rough out those details after the fact. And then there may be some fire, there may be some lightning. All right, let's do this. Okay, so the pumpkin sat in the clamps overnight. Now that we've done kind of the basic rudimentary carve, we're gonna come in with some cuts all burrs and we're gonna start giving this more detail. What's up guys? I gotta be perfectly honest with you. I, I, I kinda hate this right now. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go, not necessarily back to the drawing board, I'm gonna see if I can clean it up and make it into something that I like. If not, we may just scrap this thing all together <laughs> and do something else, I don't know. I'm gonna come in with some artistic vibration stain glazes and see if I can add some depth to this. And I was gonna do some epoxy into into the the fractal burns, but they're really narrow, and I'm a little worried that I'm going to like it's just gonna bleed out onto the piece as it is already. So we'll see if there's something I can do there.
What do you think? I, uh, I'm a little into it now. Well, I, I have to, I have to take a moment and decide if I'm still into it in a minute. <laughs> What's happening, kids? Happy spooky time. Happy spook timber, spook whatever. Happy Halloween season. So what do you guys think? I think once I built up the layers of stain, it definitely gives it depth. It definitely makes it like, it gives it that creep factor. I just wanted it to be kind of like, I didn't want it to look like a freshly carved pumpkin. I wanted it to look like it was rotting a little bit. And I think I kind of accomplished that. Maybe I didn't. You guys let me know in the comments down below if you think, uh, if, if you think it looks like it's rotten. You're rotten. You're rotten. Not you, baby. You're not rotten. So he's not rotten. Um, so, there was a casualty, however. Hey, cuts all. I, I, I bent one of these. <laughs> my, uh, my sphere bit. I guess I didn't have the shank all the way down in my rotary carver. And all of a sudden, the next thing I know, that thing, instead of spinning around like it should be, it was... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll do that for you again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, and that's no good. So I got to pitch this and it sucks because these are, these are not cheap. I do like the way it turned out. I feel like if I have one criticism, it's that the face should be smaller or the pumpkin itself should be a little bigger. Uh, I just feel like originally I was thinking like 3D and then I ended up cutting those two bites down in half. So I didn't have a nearly the, the surface area to go 3D. Uh, and I feel like if that mouth wrapped around a little bit more, it might not look like it's just all mouth. I don't know. It's kind of cool though too. And of course, I am always my own worst critic, so there you have it. <laughs> I want to say thank you to my Patreon supporters. Check out what your support has garnished for Build Dad Build. Ooh, check it out. This is the new GoPro Hero 9 go back a dozen or so videos you'll see that I accidentally torched my my GoPro session and I love that camera I use it all the time uh, then I got a refurbished one and that one just quit on me so what I did is I traded that in for the new, newest Hero 9 and that's gonna allow me to get better like down shots like I really could have used that during this video but of course it just came in the mail like two days ago that wouldn't be that wouldn't be possible without a little bit of that extra patron money if you know what I mean so I want to say thanks to all these guys thank you guys so much I got a couple of shout outs to some new patrons we have Ben Steffen and Brandon Farkas. Welcome to the fray, fellas. Uh, and special, special shout outs go to Nick the Greek, Stephen Mann. I'm just reading. No, I'm, I'm done. Uh, Easy E, Eric Weiss, Derek Coates, Caveman Ross, Chuck Faulkner, and the Weekend DIYer. A special clinkies goes out to you guys. Just quick, quick housekeeping stuff. Um, one, my wife and I started a podcast. I will link the podcast down below. We are two episodes in and we're having a great time. So go check it out. If you're thinking about buying Cuts All Burrs, uh, check out my link down below for that as well. You get 5% off. And the varnish I used on this project was by Total Boat, but I don't know if you noticed, it is their new satin finish. They've only had gloss and semi-gloss in the past. So now, thank you, thank you, thank you. We have a satin finish because I do a lot of times like to finish things in satin. Do I want it shiny and use a product that I really enjoy working with or do I want to make it satin and use something that I don't think is as reliable? So thanks Total Boat for listening to us when we asked for a satin finish. Also, if you've never ordered from Total Boat before, check out my link down below for that too and you can get 15% off your first offer. All right, guys, thanks for coming along with a little bit more Halloween fun. And know that I have gotten the DMs and the request to show off the, the Lichtenberg machine. That video will be coming up. I just want to work with it a little bit longer before I put that video out. And that being said, happy spooky season. And thanks for playing. And now I got to get to work.